Here we have a stunning 2012 Jaguar XF Premium Luxury in Gold. The car is absolutely spotless, as you'll see in the video. We start with the offside front tyre. Tread wise, you've got a good amount of tread there on the front, I'd say around 4 to 5 mil of tread. Look at the offside front alloy, very nice condition with no signs of any curbing at all. So, great condition there, very clean. Looking down the offside of the vehicle itself, um, taking a good look, um, can notice a few very minor little dinks on the driver's door line. Apart from that, there's no signs of any dents and no signs of any damage at all. But you're still here, very nice condition, no marks of that. Mirror cap's nice and clean with no signs of any marks of that either. And then looking down the driver's door line here, like I said, very, very, very small dink there. Um, nothing major at all, but just to show you that. Driver's door itself, very clean, no signs of any scratches at all. Door edge is spotless as well, no signs of any marks there. And the same with the sills there as well. Taking a look at the roof. Great condition to the roof, no signs of any dents or any damage there. And looking at the rear passenger door, again, very clean with no signs of any marks at all. And the same with the door edge on the rear passenger door. Moving to the offside rear quarter, again, very clean. Um, no signs of any marks at all, so that's great, like I said, very clean car. Look at the offside rear tyre, plenty of tread there, you've got a good 5mm. And then look at the offside rear alloy. Again, great condition, no signs of any curbs. A few little marks here and there. That would be what expect that really from a used vehicle. Overall very clean. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. As you can see, very nice car. Looking at the back and things, again, no signs of any dents or any damage at all there. You can see your rear parking sensors there as well. A couple of very light scratches to the back of the boot lid just require a bit of a polish. Other than that though, again, spotless at the back. Taking a quick look in the boot. As you can see, very clean in the boot, nice size boot as well. As you can see there, you've got your aid related plate and all your bits and bobs in there as well. But nice condition in the boot. Moving around to the near side of the vehicle. Look at the near side rear tyre. Again, you're looking at around 5mm of tread. And then taking a look at the near side rear alloy. Again, great condition to be fair, no signs of any curbing or any damage. A couple of little light scratches to it, but that's about it. Near side rear quarter looks great. And then looking down the near side of the car itself. Again, no signs of any dents, any dinks or any damage at all. Look at it, uh, the near side rear passenger door. Again, the door edge is fine with no signs of any car park chips. A couple of light scratches to the paintwork here and there just require a polish. Overall though, again, a very clean front driver's door there, spotless, and also the mirror cap as well. So overall, a very nice car. Looking at the near, near side front, you're looking at around 3 to 4 mil of tread there. And taking a look at the near side front alloy, again, absolutely spotless. No signs of any curbing at all or any damage. So you won't need to do any refurbs at all, and all the tyres are fine as well. Moving to the front, a little minor stone chip there on the front corner. Bit of a scuff um, to the middle of the uh, lower bumper there. And again, just a couple of very light little scratches to the bottom there. Nothing major at all. No signs of any stone chips whatsoever to the bonnet or to the front bumpers. Like I said, very clean car. Take a look inside now. As you can see, it's full cream leather interior. Of course, it's a Jaguar, so it's... Uh, a premium brand and as you can see the leather is absolutely spotless it still smells brand new in here as well no signs of any damage, no rips or tears or any marks at all to leather but look at the rest of the condition of the vehicle, you can see it's been uh, looked after not a very old car but again it has, still has been looked after like I said all the doors and all the trims are in very nice condition taking it from the front Again, looking at here at the driver's seat, spotless condition, holsters are in nice condition as well, no signs of any wearing at all, and the same with the front passenger seat as well, great condition there. And look at the rest of the condition of the vehicle, you can see the dash, etc. Everything's spotless, very clean car, a very nice looking car as well. 
but you are buying a brand new car here to be honest. If we step inside we can uh, show you the mileage. Two sets of keys on the vehicle as well. We just get the uh, car started up. As you can see everything popping up here. Very swish. Uh, looking at the mileage here, if we just shut this door. As you can see, very low mileage indeed, at 5,723 5, miles on the clock. And no summons on the dash there, you need to be aware of at all. Multifunction steering wheel works perfectly fine, no problems at all there. And great condition to the steering wheel. Now looking at the setup here, you've got everything on, you've got nav, climate, it's all touch screen as well. Of course, your aircon there. But as you can see, everything's very intuitive, everything still works perfectly fine. Oh, we don't want that on. Just show you the nav. As you can see here, everything's working spot, uh, perfectly fine and exactly how it should. But great condition on everything else. Of course, all the blowers work. You've got your heated seats and everything here as well. So that's all great. Automatic transmission, you can see by turning this. But again, works perfectly fine. Now looking at the documents, we've got a copy of the V5 as the plate is on retention. The car's had two owners, which is hard to believe with the condition. Um, it hasn't had its first MOT yet. Um, its first MOT will be the 13th of the 3rd, 2015. So that's the 13th of the 3rd, so plenty left with the MOT. And we have got full franchise service history with one stamp here at uh, Roger Young there, Jaguar, at 4103. So very recently serviced as well. So all this car needs is a bit of a polish. And that's it to be honest, again you are buying a brand new car here.